Welcome back to another mystery solving video. I'm still trying to get all these ones completed that I skipped or missed. So let's get on with the locations, what to search for and where to hand it in. Requirements. You'll need to have 76 archaeology to be able to access the Kishik Ger archaeology site and 81 for the Taylory debris site. You can find all of the pages required from the lower level dig site or either one of them. Locations. We will need to head to either the Kishik, Gur, or the Taylory debris site to discover the three mission reports. Kishik Gur. You will need level 76 archaeology to access this site. You can also find torn blueprints from Hal's workshop here, which are good for creating blueprints for ancient invention items. Materials you'll find here are leather scraps, um, aridelian yellow, animal purse and white oak. Taylory Debris. After you reach 81 Archaeology, you can then access the Taylory Debris dig site. Materials you'll find here are Samite Silk, Armadillion Yellow, Animal Furs, and Gold Runes. This one's a bit further to get to, but you can use either this one or the Kishi Gear site to find the mission reports. mission reports at either of the previously mentioned sites, you will just need to dig normally here and you will randomly find the following three items. A mission report for Everlight Civil, Warforged Bronze and Hellfire Metal. Once you have found all three of these, you can head to the next step. Where to hand it in. You will then need to head over to Gika at the Stormguard Citadel dig site to hand this one in. Just talk to Geeka about mysteries and select the Spy Who Loved Metal, and the mystery and achievement will be completed. To check you've sold it correctly, you can always check your archaeology journal under the notes in Uncovered Mysteries and then the Armadillion Culture tab. So that is the Spy Who Loved Metal mystery and achievement completed. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.